Okay, I think we're going live. I don't know. Okay, that's on this mic, not on that mic, I hope. Okay, today is a big day during the pandemic. This giant box is the Tundra, just arrived from Hobby King via Federal Express. Wow, are they actually putting in a, what is this? Oh, some lithium ion notification. I ordered a battery too. I need another, try another size of battery for different planes. So this is the Tundra version two plug and fly um, let's see here let me get there let's switch that is the plane that we're talking about um, yeah and that's the price I paid I believe okay so let's hope it's in good shape and I'm just streaming this basically just to record it and get it on YouTube in case there's a problem. It may be of interest to somebody. It may not. Watch out for the soldering iron. So inside we have a lot of bubble wrap or air pockets. I'm over there with the Ranger 2000. Its build is underway. Ah, here we have the battery. It should be a Zippy 3300 four cell, 3000 four cell. I can't remember exactly. Let's see what it is. A 3300 4S, 40C. So this might be a good battery for this Tundra. We'll find out. And it may be for uh, another plane that I have. Okay, so there's the 3300-4S. Um, what do we have here? Ah, we have the EC3 to XT60 adapter. This will allow me to share my batteries with my friends who have... Uh, uh, Horizon Hobby planes with EC3s. So, got a couple of those. I'll give one of them to my friend Kevin. He has several. At least two, I should say. Okay. Whoa. And there it is. The Tundra V2. Has a uh, plug and fly checked there. The box is a little bit crushed along here, but uh, all in all, it looks okay. We're going to cut it here. No limits. So my friend Andy has a Tundra. I think it's a 1300 millimeter. The first version, I think, has this green. It's a wonderful plane. It really is. Oh, let's see. I've missed a piece of tape. Let's not fuck this up. Excuse my French. Okay. Okay, there's stuff on the very bottom. And look what we have here. Oh my god, this is exciting, folks. Okay. So in here we have the gigantic prop. I think that's a 12-inch prop. I have the landing gear. 
Looks like some stuff for maybe FPV box or something. Uh, the struts for the wings. Excellent, excellent. Okay. We have uh, Hobby King uh, or Durafly Tundra quick setup guide. We have the wheels, and these are rubber wheels. That is what I was hoping for. Yes, these are rubber. Let's open those up. They are not foam. Even though it still says foam on the website. They are, well, they're like a foam, but they're not the uh, EP. They're not the same foam as you make the plane out of. Oh, those are going to be nice. Okay. Oh, my God, this is awesome. So, so far, everything looks like it's in good shape. Looks like it's nicely packed. Even though the box, outer box, had a small ding in it, it doesn't look like the styrofoam got damaged. So we have a spar. And we have the floats, which I don't know if I'll ever get to use, but we do have a lake here. My friend Andy, who has the uh, tundra, has a boat that he uh, flies, or, or flies, a boat that he floats, a float, a boat that floats, I hope it floats, he takes it out there to the lake, okay, so let's get this, here, we can't take too long, because I got to get back to work, working from home, pandemic, I do have to go into work, actually, today, but there's nobody there when I go in there, so it's all safe. Okay, so here, what do we have? Oh my god, this is so exciting. Okay, so we have the tail feathers. This is the vertical stabilizer. And I don't know about those hinges, but they seem easy to move, that's for sure. Here we have the one half of the horizontal stabilizer, the um, control horn is integrated right into, oh, and I see, it connects, something connects both of them. So there should be another horizontal stabilizer in here, though I don't see one. I hope it's in here. Look, there's only one. I'm freaking out. I'm going to be sad if I'm missing a horizontal stabilizer. Really sad. Oh my god, there's not another one in here. There's stuff inside. Oh my god. This is why I videotape this. I'm missing a horizontal stabilizer. That sucks. Hobby King, don't tell me you screwed me out. Of oh my god. Hobby King. Please let it be inside of here. Okay, how do we get this open? This part comes off. Oh no, it's not inside of here. The motor is. Oh my god, there's no horizontal stabilizer. Holy shit. Oh, what am I saying? I'm an idiot. Never mind. These are the horizontal stabilizers. The rudder is integrated into here. Stupid ass. 
These two go together. What an idiot. Okay. I'm glad nobody's watching this. That's the horizontal stabilizer. Huh. Okay. 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 Yeah. It goes on like that. And you screw it in from underneath. <clears throat> yes. You idiot. I'm telling you, I was freaking out. Okay. That goes in like that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, such a relief. Okay, so here's the fuselage. Boy, that's a ruined unboxing. It's got the motor in there. It has the reversing ESC. You see here we have the throttle, and then this one is for reverse. So you put that on a switch. And we have a aileron. It looks like a Y adapter, which I may or may not use. So there's no other hatch up here. Oh, there's a hatch back here. And here you have... So the hatch, hatch comes off. Oh, I'm so glad. So glad I'm not missing something. Dealing with Hobby King support isn't always the most pleasurable. There's a little hatch there. And uh, you get the servo access there. And very short little servo leads that I guess you put... That's where I'm going to put the flight controller, right there. You see the plugs on either wing. There's one on that wing. It has a Aerostar. No, an Avios. Don't bang the ceiling. Aerostar 40 amp. 3 amp back, 2 to 4S LiPo, and it is a reversing, so when you're on the, it, it, you can reverse the prop and go backwards, especially like when you're on the, um, on the water. Okay, so I guess they're saying the receiver goes right there, so that's where the receiver's going to go. Okay. Yay, it's all here. That would have freaked me out. So there, the wing spar. Goes here. Get it through. Tight fit. And the wings. Let's look at the wings. Since we're done freaking out about the um, missing pieces, I love that positive contact. I didn't really show this box. There's the control horns, the rear wheel, a little screwdriver, or control uh, rods, I should say. And it's got the little round clevis thing connectors. And they go so this one has separate flaps. Look at that. Wow. The wings look so small though, don't they? There's where the um, strut connects to. I love the flaps though. I love the way they go. There's the connector.
open pretty easily. Careful with that, don't break the flap. There's some screws that obviously go in there. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Okay, let's get the other wing. Oh, all these things. Let's get them out. It comes with it comes with all these vortex generators and I think you put them in this way. So all the little slots are there. You have to glue all those in if you want them. Um there we go. There's more flappage. That is nice. All this, all the hinges are screwed in. I guess they won't come out. Probably shitty servos. But the servos can always be replaced. You just have to reconnect all this part. The right way if you replace them that's the one thing i don't like about getting them this is my first plug and fly airplane my very first plug and fly airplane so it's the first airplane i've ever bought with the escs and the servo and the motor all installed stuck. Gotta be careful. This is too far down. How far is it supposed to go? I should probably have measured it. measure it to find the center. I'll measure it. I'm supposed to do a quick unboxing for lunchtime. Lunch lunch break. Okay, so I'll hold it this way. There is three quarters of the tundra. Oh look at is the tail broken? That's a very interesting I don't know. I'm gonna see if you can see that line right there. That's how it gets glued together. It's just not not the best. Oh, and you can see the little ball things. Oh, those are cool. I'm going to get my glasses to take a better look at that for a second. Where are they? Oh no, they're upstairs. Never mind. There's the ball. So that snaps onto there. And then you center it inside of here yeah that's, that's cool and then for the wings they also have those ball joints I like that this one does too you can see it right there I like that a lot. That is going to be cool. And that is a big motor in there. I don't know if you can take this off and see the motor. Let's see if we can flip it upside down. Uh, 
And I think that's all glued on there. That is a big motor. So that is an 900 kV. Doesn't say what size. It's an Aerostar 900 kV. It's big, like it's a 30, 30, 35 or 36 millimeter motor for sure. Okay, well, it's my lunch hour. Like I said, I got to clean all this up. But that is the quick and dirty and not so quick and a little bit of a freak out because I don't know my own airplane that I bought. The stickers are a little, eh. I didn't need the stickers. But they're purple. It's K-State. K-State purple. K-State purple and gold. I think that's K-State's color. K-State's purple and white, but this is purple and white. Um, so that's it. That's all I've got to say today. Happy uh, Friday, everyone. Be safe. Uh, wash your hands. Floss your teeth. Don't go out unless you're going to go flying. And keep your safe distance away from your flying buddies. Don't fly over people. Don't fly near any dogs. Uh, don't take any wooden nickels. So, yeah. That's the Tundra recording. I'll probably be totally embarrassed to have this out in the world. But my final... Uh, um, Analysis is it looks like a high quality plane and it really should be because it costs $179 which is more, way more than I've ever 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 paid for an airplane So there it is Way more than I've ever paid I'm gonna love putting this together though and I'm gonna be doing that tonight and hopefully I might do another live stream about it. Who knows? Let me know if you think that's a good idea. All zero people watching. So, peace out. Stay healthy.